How about an up close and personal look at Encyclia Graciana Alba? As I have three stages of bloom here, I thought it might be a good idea to actually put it on film. And what you see behind here, I'm getting photobombed by Golden Peacock. Look at that, still in bloom. Six months, six months this orchid has bloomed. Very distracting because we're here for Graziana Alba. So, as you can see, it's mounted and it is not in my preferred mounting method because I like to try to do as much inorganic as possible. However, with this plant, I'm so hesitant because it is so very thirsty, I should actually put it in a self-watering pot. But I am so loath to separate it. I'm so, I don't want to, you know, take it apart and I don't know what, it's, it's doing so well on a mount. I don't know. But let's have a look at it. Oh, we got photobombed again. Here we are. By Golden Peacock. <laughs> that plant, that orchid is just incredible. So let's start with the newest blooms that have just opened. This plant is with me two and a half years. It has, it arrived to me with three bulbs and I think a new growth. And one of the bulbs, one of the uh, growths was actually blooming. But look at this, when it opens, When it opens, it has all these beautiful markings in the bloom. And if we had a little bit of sunshine, it would sparkle. An amazing, amazing fragrance. You have to get your nose in there to appreciate it. But it's like a very, very posh, fancy talcum powder. It's delicious, it really is. I'm not a talcum powder fan, but it is very, very, very attractive to smell. I must say it appeal, it's very appealing to me. And then you can see the transition of the blooms. These are older. These are six weeks old. Six week old blooms. And they, they don't look like they're about to fade, except for the color fades. The fragrance remains, but they go into this creamy white form and retain a little bit of pink on the petals in the back there just there so that's how they develop and then they progress to these are probably 10 weeks old and they haven't dropped these were the first to open and they haven't dropped and they're not loose or shriveled or wrinkled or anything like that. Still a very firm texture. But yeah, the progression is absolutely amazing. I love it, all on one plant. And I would love to be able to make sure I can avoid these distortions in the leaves. And I soak it every day sometimes twice a day and yet I still have that and that's why I am tempted to pot it up and yet I don't want to disturb it. You can see that there are some buds back there still. So this one will be gracing its presence with its fragrance for many many months to come. If you have this plant let me know how you grow it and if yours is as thirsty as mine, because look how much sphagnum moss I've packed it on. So there's roots underneath there, and I've just thrown on the sphagnum moss. Like there's no tomorrow, and they're coming out the sides. More new growth on the way. It just doesn't stop. <laughs> I mean, we're not really used to orchids growing like weeds, but if you want one that grows like a weed, <laughs> I highly recommend this one. 
It's not a very big plant, but it is super vigorous. So yeah, Encyclia Graciana Alba. It's a no fuss, no headache plant with the prettiest of little blooms. And they smell nice too. And we're still getting photobombed. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this little insight, little close personal inspection of the Sensiclia. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.